This is a short story on losing games. If you are born on earth with certain inclinations, skills, CDs, metaphysical propensities, usually in the modern society you are falling into two categories. Either you fall for religion, which is a trap, or you fall for psychiatry, which is another trap to some. Because as a person with certain uh, psionic skills, I don't know, second sight, trafficking with spirits, seeing spirits, this is civilizationally not acceptable. In other words, you encounter an anomaly in your life and you develop delusional systems about it because there is no one to guide you along the way in the Western Christian civilization. So either you use your brain and order it through painstaking walk, living through horror and torment for years, or you're as good as relegated to psychiatry or religion. Now don't think you'll change the world, you won't. What you can change is change yourself. Toughen up, learn to walk with it, commit, contribute, whatever you may. Gather experiences. Walk, walk, walk. Commit, commit, commit. Toughen, 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 toughen. You can multiply toughness and stoutness and survivalism through toughness, survivalism and stoutness. You can multiply intelligence through intelligence. You can adapt. What is an what is a very interesting fact about human beings is that they can adapt to almost any circumstances if they are tough enough, if they can toughen up. If they're too sensitive, they may break into nervous breakdowns, into fears, anxieties, are different constructions of the mind. We're not born equal, we have different minds, and our minds can withstand different kind of assaults, offenses, and uh, they may fall apart. And uh, to you out there who have certain verified by themselves or intersubjectively skills, psionic skills, CDs, miracles, taumaturgy, wonder walking. If you experience such things, better keep it to yourselves and mature in it. Because both modern age is not a time of silence, for silence. They won't burn you at the stake anymore for that. But it is also not the time to speak or to inspire others. Why so? Because the cognitive biomass is already conditioned for such and such belief systems, for such and such civilizational detritus. Of course you have plenty of uh, new age self-proclaimed miracle walkers, skilled people and so on and so on. This is just an exemplification of this mass that cannot order give a certain hermetical understanding to all of this by painstaking walk, studies, contemplation, magical action, performance, at the same time trying to approach fundamentally their life, to walk, to live, to have families, to have children perhaps. Now it is extremely difficult to manage all that because at one part you are walking with anomalies that exceed the current civilizational conditioning. At the other part you try to live and make sense of it all, to command sense, to make sense, to give yourselves a vision and aim in life. So the purpose of creating those videos that I create in lectures is to interpret experiences, to give some people that might experience such anomalies, a sense of order, that they're not completely lost to their own devices. And of course I'm a flawed human being too, a mortal, as I like to say. And I have plenty of uh, detritus and shrapnel from my past mind battles, and there were plenty of that, veteran of hundreds of thousands of psychic wars. However, you can emerge victorious. You can emerge
perhaps scarred, wounded, but you may make your life livable to a point of contentness and perhaps find the inner happiness within, with all of that. Because first you need to expand into extremes, then to condense into something manageable. Or the up cow. So, this is so and so. In this motto of last exit, for the civilizationally lost.